All right, hold up. You need to fact check, fact check some of this. Like what? <laughs> All right, anyway, 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 in into the set. Uh, so off the bat, I'm gonna say something. You know, Adamus has fought this character for years. Like years, man. He, if anyone knows how to fight Snake, it it's him. And off the bat, like he he's going to work. He is. Putting Apollo Kage under so much pressure, he was as deed, but honestly, I haven't seen DV like play this aggressive and this fast in quite some time. Snake got put in a blender pretty much that entire first stock. Yeah, Mr. Burley is definitely one of their names, and I'm really excited to see him in the land of the deity mains because we know we have Zok, he was one of the, was a great deity main, but he's been doing a tremendous amount of work. Like I said, right, he's used to this match from back in the Brawl days. But he's able to handle it pretty well. Oh, that's a C4. And is that going to be the from Apollo Kage? Nice, with the invincibility from the ledge as well. Hmm, I gotta wonder if he had a better punish there than going for the C4 stick. I like the inhale on the grenade. Huge. Yeah, that's a really great counterplay to put on Snake. Snake loves tossing those grenades. You have Gordos, you do have that inhales, in which you don't have to really worry about that that much. Especially with Gordo having bounces as well. I'm trying to think though. How does it work exactly? So if he inhales a grenade that's about to blow up, he gets that weird animation where he Yes, like, correct. Okay. So if it's just like a normal grenade, he has enough time to shoot it back at him. All correct. Right, nice forward tap there. At that percent down for up tilt is true. I think around like 140. Nice, Still. wanted to catch the jump from the ledge. Usual option there, especially from DDD. Trying to set up for our Gordo. Let's see if it would have been enough range to hit him. I, I kind of want to see how Apollo Kaka is going to catch Birdly on the landings there, because that's one thing that he hasn't been able to do yet. It's really impressive to me, because normally this matchup is not super difficult for Snake, because he's able to just keep DD out with the projectiles, you know, it's really not interacting too much. But the thing is, like, Brody Lee, he's just not caring about the grenades, man. He's still making it so the Snake has to fight him. Yeah, and the shoe is on the other foot. Oh, the C4 to send back the portal. Great play. Of the Gordo here, this buys Burley some time to take center stage and the left side of the stage as well here. What's going to be the setup? I like that he waits for the high recovery. Nice. Watch out for the landing. Yeah, he's going to respect the C4. But I, uh, again, you want to use the C4 there, not necessarily to hit them, but just, you know, give you a safe spot to get to the ground. Okay, this is fine right now for Apollo Kage. He's starting to get some good trades, but goes for a kind of risky Nair setup. And uh, that was just a huge opportunity for Brody Lee to get that up to out of shield. Okay, nice catch. I like that uh, forward there. He's a free punish here. He should die here. Nice, I like that. He delayed the C4 just to wait out the air dodge. Again, his uh, C4 stick setups are been pretty consistent so far. Oh, hold up. You don't got to jump. Air dodge? Yeah. Probably the only way he could have got back to ledge. But I kind of expected Brody Lee to punish that air dodge. It's fine. So has a huge, huge lead. Not even just a lead, just a whole game in his favor. Indeed, nice. indeed. Uh... So, I did, I'm trying to do enough research here. Mr. Brutally, of course, is Adam Misk. The name comes from the wrestler on TNT Championships. He is the leader of the Dark Order. Um, it's like the whole wrestling persona thing. I don't know if this is... the If Adam Misk is Mr. Brutally, I don't know any information about that. Uh, but I'm letting you guys know, Mr. the name Mr. Brutally comes from AWE's No Mercy and TNT, champ uh, TNT Wrestling there, so... If I can find anything more, and if everybody knows in the Twitch chat, please feel free to let me know. See, now that makes a lot more sense. It's just Adam is using a pro wrestler's name. <laughs> Not him. I've never met Adam Misk in person, though, so I can't tell you, like, oh, yeah, Adam just became a pro wrestler. It's still really cool. Either way, let's get into the next match here. Brutally against Apollo Kage. Game one already to Brutally's side. Like you said, right, this is typically a matchup you would see Snake win. But Adamus is kind of playing this matchup to an advantage where the shoe is on the other foot for DDD. Now he's kind of the one taking the lead here. Yeah. He also just really knows how to uh, keep Snake in a rough spot when he's trying to land. He gets so much percent every time he starts juggling. Very few times he's trading with grenades as well. 
So it's just all really good pressure here. Oh my goodness, great dash attack into the door. Oh my god. If he knew, if he knew that would work, then he's he's amazing. Okay, nice C4. But dude, the inhale, does it do more damage to the thing that it, yeah, yeah, it has to. Yeah, be. it's like a reflector, correct. Yeah, dude, that up smash must have done like ridiculous amounts of knockback. It was already, it already does a lot of knockback on its own. Like, and you see how that situation where Bradley was able to throw back the grenade. Oh, wow, that was a clean setup with the Gordo coming with the neutral air after the Gordo hit Snake. There's inhale, yeah, nice. Gotta say, the angles that he mixes up his Gordo, the positioning that he uses, the move, very, very good. Nice, Apollo. Ah, oh, that was rough for Apollo Kake. Okay. I know what he was trying to go for, trying to re grab the grenade and set up something here, but like Brody Lee is doing. He's doing an excellent job, and if Paulo Kage wants to throw a grenade, if he wants to try to stand there in neutral, he's got to fight through Gordo. And on top of that, he's got to fight through Brody Lee's setup nice. there. Sees the landing on the platform. Great up tilt to seal the stock. Ladies and gentlemen, Adamisk is here to play. Very impressive this DVD. You know, like, there's not that many times where I see a genuinely really good DVD. Right? It's like a change of pace to see. Oh. Almost got that super good tech chase set up with the Gordo, but still, he's keeping him in the corner really well. Paul Kage trying to get something started, but every time he pulls a grenade, Broly Lee's not worried about it whatsoever. And it's he's good. Getting all the time to set up over and over. And we see Broly Lee go for a lot of inhales, so that's it. That's the stop yeah, here. Yeah. We see him go for a lot of inhales in situations like that because if you, if a Paul Kage wants to grab grenade, right in those in those situations he's gonna have to worry about Bertley getting inhaling him but also he understands that he's in shield so Bertley is playing a lot of counterplay on snakes i think what Bertley is doing really really well is taking care of snakes comfort zones and where he would typically like to grab the grenade start to set up that projectile play but instead you see Bertley inhale snake and then slowly take that away from him you can, you can see that he's finding grenades with Gordos, which have a pretty good lasting opportunity. And they're not getting sent back by grenades. If anything, they're continuing to travel. The only thing that's been sending back by grenades is the C4. Yeah, there have been very few moments, like you said, where he's actually able to hit the Gordo back with his own projectile. And uh, that's just really been letting Brody Lee get way more, you know, state control than he probably should. Just because, you know, he's able to keep the Gordos active way longer than usual. And on top of that, he's back. excellent at setting those Gordos up with other aerials. See, he tries to run away, gets the inhale, Gordo set up, pick an option. If you can't find one, that's fine. There's an up tilt. Multiple jumps, oh. but not aware of that C4. Hawkeye finally getting a stock lead for the first time in the set so far. Be able to use it to the fullest here. Oh, good down tilt. Oh my tilt. goodness. I up respect tilt, it, just... Up tilt made his hurt box go in the air, so the down tilt missed. That's funny. Nice. Multiple jumps here. Great opportunity coming for the grab with a cross up on that other jump. Yeah, 76 is already really good. Make that 93. <laughs> That, okay, look, I'm gonna I'm give Bertley all the kudos there because that was a great Gordo to stop the Nikita. And then, the, oh, that was close. That was close. Nice I see punish. the inhale, though. I see the inhale. Nice punish from Paul. But, oh, what? Clip that. Clip that. Chat. What? Clip that and send it to me. That's Wait, a clip. The, so, for some reason, the dash attack sent him backwards and then the grenade. Is he dead? He's dead. He, he, he's, he's trying to make sure he's dead. Oh my. He's trying to make sure he's dead. He's Look at him. for his life. Yeah, he is. Oh he's, my I told God. you. <laughs> he's making oh sure he's dead. Bro, how many forward airs was that? Dude, that was like at least 10, right? Oh, well, yeah. Know, man. What? Only the Sesame Street count would Dude, know how many forward airs it took to kill Snake Bear. Dude, the forward air was stale at that point. Oh, oh yeah, he saw the jump. He saw the jump. That was great stuff on Apollo Kaga to execute that. All right, I didn't see that C4 there, but Paulo Kage did, and I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's good for him.
finally get on the on the on the board here, not getting three would I mean, good so yeah, good stuff on apology. I put it in the show, but like, I and this is I apologize for everybody watching. This is bias for me, but like, Adam is shows his knowledge of being a DD main all the way from Brawl, and what he can do in this matchup. I'm honestly impressed with what he's doing with DD. It makes me more scared of the character because the character isn't really that strong in terms of presence in the meta at all. You don't see a lot of Diddy mains, right? So that, what did we see last time? What, Zaki? Yeah, and Zaki's playing a lot of Banjo. Which is, uh, you know, not surprising. Because, you know, again, Diddy's not the best character in this game. But, uh, one thing he does have that's really strong is, like, his portal setups. And if he's able to utilize them to the fullest so far, like, as uh, Brody Lee has been able to do, then he just seems a lot stronger than you would think, especially at the ledge. He hasn't really abused the ledge chopping potential of the Gordos so far yet, just because Snake having all these different ways to get back on. But uh, that's something you always already worry of. This game, though, Palakog is getting all of his grenade setups in the fray, racking up tons of percent. I have to applaud Burly for those those inhale setups because he not only gets rid of grenade, but he also gets get snake at the same time. Especially with snake trying to approach with grenade, you can see it there in that situation. I like the fact that he backs off, goes for a Gordo setup, and then takes center stage with another excellent Gordo play here. He's looking to get him on the high recovery, but I like the fact that he was like, okay, I gotta come back. I like that he he does the oh my, I thought that was up there. Never mind, that was still crazy that he went for that, but uh. Yeah, I like that he holds in on the Gordo toss so it just stays in front of him. And then he can like run behind it while the hitbox is active. This is like another thing that you can do to just make the stage his own pretty much. Yeah. Oh, gonna get to the ledge here safely. Oh, never mind. You gotta watch out. Stake is gonna keep hitting that up smash over and over at the ledge. Dash tap. Nice. Yep. That's a combo. Oh, that's a corner carry as well. Oh my goodness. Up air into the Gordo. Still taking a lot of percent here though, but he's a big, heavy character. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, Nair into the Gordo. Oh my goodness. Paul Kage is starting to get, get something started here. This is a lot of percent. And I like it. Brutally is not rolling. He's not biting at all. You can tell that he's keen with using all those jumps from the ledge if he has to. He's looking for the snake landing. Doesn't find anything there with the down smash. So I applaud the opportunity though. You would have seen somebody roll. Yeah, he was covering an air dodge into the ground there. But uh, that was actually a huge recovery from Apollo Kage. Gave him the grenade in the air dodge to ledge. Very, very safe stuff. Watch out. That guy's uh, not safe, but down throw F2? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. Out of here. Okay. Again, stock lead here. Huge combo. Grenade into the neutral air. 328%. At nice this point, look. Any, yeah, any percent he gets, icing on the cake. Exactly what he wants. Oh, good read, good read. Uh, tough one on the Nikita, though. Great stuff to Burley. Gets the arm tilt, sees the cross up, sets up Gordo for the pressure. Unable to find that down smash, though. Usually you would see somebody try to read a spot dodge or a roll that would have caught him on behind or on the spot dodge. Up oh. tilt reads the landing here. Burley's back in the game, but there's 94% on the name. Huge. Nice catch on the air dodge. Almost dying to that up air, though. He's got to be very careful at this point. A lot of things will kill him. He's almost at up tilt kill percent as well from the Ooh. down throw. And now he's definitely at down throw up tilt kill percent. Oh nice. my god, look at the ledge pressure. You know, you, you, he has everything set up. You can see that Burly hasn't... The ledge pressure is really scary for DD and Burly and as a whole. But you can see how he hasn't been falling to it. He's been keen on using those multiple jumps, using Gordo to kind of fight his way back here. Good up throw to up air, 49%. Watch out, this uh -oh. Watch this out. penguin oh, has rage. Up. This penguin has rage. He's forced to use the up B and nice grab to force him off stage again. Still got to worry about that grenade though. Again, he cannot oh, get grabbed at this point. I know Apollo Kage is looking for it. And I think Roy Lee knows it as well. But there's the back air. Very last frame of that hitbox going to be enough to take that man that last talk was crazy <laughs> either way yeah actually what a crazy game five to be put into strides because that was yeah like yeah. you said the lasting hitbox of back air sakurai blessing snakes boots with that one able to seal the deal here but like i said Brody lee 
so smart on coming back on the stage. Most of the time, you would see another character fall into that large pressure, but Brody Lee does an excellent job using DDD's multiple jumps, using the up special at ridiculous heights, and then even then using Gordo to buy himself time to come back on center stage. These are all the things that Brody Lee has put into the character to put himself in game five. Yeah. Paul Kage, though, really great stuff. Almost gained the reverse 3 0 so far to uh, work in his favor. He looked like to be struggling very, very much in the first two games. But uh, yeah, he started to find his stride. You know, he's getting his setups where he needs to. He's not yeah. necessarily running into as many things as he was before. And uh, yeah, he's just looking a lot stronger in this game. I really yeah. want to see how Broly Lee is going to adapt to how Paul Kage's changed up. Very unsafe back here, though. Gotta watch it. Luckily, he doesn't eat a super hard punish. Okay. There's nice. a power throw. Oh, the Gordo. Ooh, another hey. one. Great pressure. Without the, air, without the air dodge. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an F tilt. Okay. There's a there's a Gordo play to hold the shield. Doesn't get the grab though. Those are some small arms. Man, that up tilt hitbox. Very oh. misleading. I, I agree. I agree. Very very misleading. It's hitting the shield, and I'm scared of that fact that it hits the shield. Go to play once more. 88 to 130 here. Brodely gets the grab. Another forward throw. This man is playing cricket with those hammer swings. Oh, my goodness. Almost gets that Gordo to work. Nice shield. The Gordo you know, got reflected by the grenade explosion there. Oh, oh. no. He oh, dropped his other. For the super hard read. Might not have been worth it. Uh, I don't think up tilt kills DV at 92%, even with rage. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that C4 is. Oh, it's on the far platform. All right. Oh, the oh, oh he didn't get the last hit. He didn't get the, the last hit. That yeah, would have did. That might have been enough to kill. Down throw? Doesn't need it, but no follow up here. Okay. Careful, oh, yeah. Goodness. He was going for another C4 stick and just enough to kill the Gordo at 187%. He caught Snake getting ready to throw that grenade, and that was kind of his demise here. Once again, Birdie Lee knows, you know what, I can actually jump around the ledge. Unfortunately, Apollo Kage knows that Snake's up tilt is great enough to take care of that situation. Yep. Oh. Oh my goodness. Almost gets completely obliterated by every single explosion in the book, but nearly avoids it, so he's only eating a tiny punish here. Another great grab. He just knows when he can grab a uh, Snake for pulling the grenade. Very, very good thing to... Uh, know how to do when you're fighting against this character. Yeah. Once again, that's the one thing I'm liking about Bird Lee. He's using a lot of those jumps to pretty much make an empty hop or a tomahawk grab. Gets the roll up tilt with a great range. Another up air to put a sneak up on the stage. Once more, gets. Oh, he, I was gonna say he might be looking for the third one. Finds it. Oh, I don't like the OB there. I don't. I don't. I don't. That was. I felt like that was a panic option. You know, he wanted to get away from that situation, and unfortunately, Apollo Clay got caught in the window. Though. Yeah, and that's 45% already. That's great percent if you're DDD. You're getting force uses up B here. Going to retreat to the ground pretty safely, but still not able to relieve any of this pressure that Broly Lee is applying right here. Oh my God, he got hit by everything, but he's still alive. He's going to absorb, absorb the Nikita. Oh, oh no. I think he didn't uh, go the full apex of his up B. He just uh, canceled it too early. He's out, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah. Sets up for the forward air. Great enough to get uh, Snake off the stage here. Brody Lee looking for the back air. Doesn't find the opportunity. Gets the back throw. Here's going to be the setup. I thought it was going to go for Gordo though situation because he could have covered the high recovery option that you see with Snake with Sniper. Nice. Gets the shield hold here. Enough time to come back oh. center stage, but Apollo Kake is on the chase. Finally getting those landings with the dash attack. Well, we but surely he's trying to bring this back. He does have the rage, so, you know, he can probably kill DD earlier than normal. But, as I say it, runs into a Gordo, and he's out of there. Game five. Going to Mr. Brody Lee, indeed, the leader of the Dark Her. Order. <laughs> I don't know what that is, bro. I don't watch wrestling. I neither do I, man. But if somebody out there in the YouTube video wants to go ahead and let 2GG know, put it in the comments below. 